What's up? Dominion. See what I mean? Look at my eye, dude. Booby We What's up? Let me see if I can't. <laughs> That's so messed up. Okay. Um so we're gonna try the three hundred eye and it looks like my eye is sagging yet again. Again, this is 3.5 PTU. Mumble, mumble, mumble. But well, <laughs> I tried to recalibrate it. All right, let's go over there. Let's go check it out. Do do do. We'll be walking through the Reliant cores. Well, the Reliant variations over here. I uh, will be checking that out in a moment. But I figured the best place for us to check this out is in the hangar. Um, so uh, there was a couple of noticeable things. Let me go ahead and try to get like a smoother roll here. I don't have my controller plugged in. Maybe I should just so we get like a better roll here. So a lot of people were saying this is not the same interior they had at the air show, uh, which is the in-game fiction uh, event that happened, what was it, last year? And it was, it was quite fantastic, the interior had a lot of wood, right? Because nothing says I'm big balling in space like uh, <laughs> animals, no, plants and wood paneling. So what I think since this, these ships, the 300 series is going to be the ushering in the website modifications, I believe because those aren't done, A, it's not put in yet, and is it, is it, I have like the, why am I seeing all, okay, there it goes, it just went away, I think. I've seen all the dots or the points where we can place things in, but anyways, I think that's going to be some of the modifications, the really fancy interior, and another reason why these aren't totally complete yet for this build is because they still have to integrate this with the website as well having those extra options which we're starting to see for armor as well and uh, one of the great features here is okay so if you knew this model previously it had a, a ladder here or yeah it did in a hatch and that was cool but it was hard to do cargo so let me just go ahead and show you where that's at now hopefully we can open it here I haven't tested this inside of the hangar so hopefully I don't look like an asshole boom Nice, we can finally actually put stuff on there if we need to. Awesome. Right there. Hell yes. <laughs> it doesn't look like I was having a stroke for real though. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh yes, if you are watching this in the future, um, and this is going over, this stream is going over to a video, be sure to check out the pinned comment below as that will have uh, short descriptions and uh, colored numbers next to those descriptions that you can tap or click on to jump around the stream. And if this is a highlight, then you can just watch the shortened version. So there you go. I'm trying to juggle two things at once. We'll see how well it works. Let's see how, how, how bad my face looks right now with the face over IP. Yep. What's wrong with that eye? What's going on? Why is my mouth not open? But. 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 See, now we can do the shower stuff. Look at that. Wow. But. Anyways, all right, so we've got the cargo back there. Yeah, I said shower scene. Oh, wait, do I have that listed? Hold up, I think I do. So a little promo here. <laughs> we had this from the last time. Let me just grab this real quick. I'm such an idiot. But I think that's why we all get along so much, yes? So if you're in the chat currently, you'll see this. And if this is a highlight for you later, then you probably won't see this. But I can always post it in a comment. So anyways. I'm not sure what kind of layout we have for this, or layout, I should say armaments, ordnance. Uh, I'm not sure what missiles these are. These look like task force, but don't quote me on that. And I'm not sure on what these, it looks like, it's not the repeater, is it? No, it's not. This is more like the laser cannon itself, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, let's go inside and check out the interior. Again, keep in mind that there's going to be a lot of customization features. Again, I don't know this for a fact yet, but I mean, let's, let's use our noodle for a minute, huh? <laughs> it's too many says, fucking hilarious. I know, right? It sometimes it works great, but it seems like when I do the calibration, it gets worse. And why is my head tilting? I don't have the free look on. I mean, uh, 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 uh. all right. Last time we tried this on the previous stream, we did eat shit. Um, it did kill us, so hopefully we're okay here. I like the interior. I think it's great. I think the layout's really good. It, didn't I say enter? There it goes. Oof! It's a little sluggish tonight. So again, this is the 3.5 PTU. I'm not sure what the subversion is. 
but uh, this did most recently just get put in. And I've the interior lights in almost all the ships aren't working, or they're not turning on, I should say. They are working, they just aren't, I don't think they're mapped in yet. So we've got the interior here. And not a huge, I mean, it is, it, there's a difference, but I mean, the, the idea is still the same down here. Um, I'm guessing that this whole interior is going to be swappable or upgradable to some degree or another. We've got, let's see how bad the light is in here. Okay, it's not too bad. Well, first things first, we've got this nice little airlock. I'm not sure what this is here. I'm sure this will come into play at some point, right? This really looks like an airliner. Like uh, when you leave a plane, an actual commercial plane. Uh, it immediately as you walk in, you've got, I mean, the most important thing is where you take a space dump. You know what I mean? Take a poop. That's cool. We've got the pilot seat here. And I think the best part of this whole thing is the skylight, the galaxy light on top. I think that's fantastic. Galaxy light. Um, what that? Not a galaxy light. Galaxy port? Sunroof? No? What would we call that? Anyways, the, the glass ceiling is fantastic. I think it's awesome. We've got a bed in here so you can have saved gameplay, which is awesome. We've got, it looks like a weapon rack of sorts. Looks like maybe two weapons. I'm not sure what these are, but I do like having some baller ass cheeses and spreads. So the wine cups are going to come in handy, right? Even though I don't drink. Here we go. Let's see what else we got here. I think this is for clothing, possibly. Is that even open up yet? Nope, probably not. So judging by the way, and I wish I had a screenshot of it because I don't think I do. I, I have the address, but I don't have the interior of this one. I don't know if it's going to be modules or the whole thing that gets swapped out. So it'll be interesting to kind of take a look. So that, as far as the interior, is about as far as it goes. There's as much as we know currently. And then I don't know how bad or good this is in the, in the hangar. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> nice, right? Freaking nice. Right. And we'll probably going th be going through this later when we go over to our corp. Yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. So I just wanted to see if there's anything relatively new. Oh wait, is my head tracking out for the interior? Hold up. I wanted it to be for free look when seated. Yes, please. Let me see if it works. I am kind of for. Hang on, let me adjust my seat here. Hi. Why does my eye look like it's lazy? Don't do that. Wake up. Anyway, I'm still getting used to the controls. I think we're getting there. The flight model is growing on me. And you do have to give it a good couple of sessions, I think, before. Especially if you came from the old setup. All right, let's go and check out one of the variants next door. Hopefully, this killed me last time I did this, so fingers crossed. The animation seems to be somewhat delayed right now, which is okay. It's, uh, PTO. Where are you? I am in the Rebel York hangar inside the base 300i. I like the new design. It still has the same silhouette, more or less, but it looks a lot more sleek and it matches up with the manufacturer brand guidelines. Ooh, yeah, brand. What's up? Let's go over here and check out. I saw that there are variants. I think we can spawn these in the garage, or hangars, rather. But I don't know if we can fly these yet. Maybe we can. Let's take a look. We'll see if we actually have the cargo here. It looks like we might. Maybe? Nope. Jade, you're a dirty liar. This must be because there's more. This is the racer, I think. Let me take a look. It looks The paint job looks like that, yes. All right, let's go in the interior. It should be relatively the same, right? Oh, we can look at ship loadouts, too. We'll have to take a look at that. How about the ladder, my dude? Yeah, the only downside with the ladder is the fact that you can't carry a box and go up the ladder as as it stands now. So the fact that we've got that little loading area on the interior. See? You? Okay. Already. Look at The interior has changed. See? Just proving myself right. Left and right. Look at this. You've got a bed. And looks like you've got your shitter. Excellent. Okay, nice. It looks like the lighting in here is a little better. Maybe it's because the hangar's a little bit more well lit. 
Okay, let's go. We've got, I think, another variant. We can go ahead and try to spawn that in. What's up, by the way, Kimmy? What's up? I think I can just do this. This might work, too. Oh, nope, just kidding. <laughs> the animation kicked in. It takes a second for that to go, but let's go ahead and look at the other one. This is the 350R. Oh, yeah, it's right there, Dur. Uh, there's the exploration version and the combat version. So here's the combat version, 325A. I'm going to back up. Nice. Okay, and then let's go ahead and spawn the other one. Over here, which is the P, which I believe is the Explorer version of the 300 model. Just rewatch our shower scene. This is how I have so hard. I'm crying. That was so funny. Well, that's like typical stuff we do in space. And the part where I landed the thing in the uh, <laughs> in the caterpillar and then I got murked was pretty funny too. It not pretty funny. It is funny. 315P. Let me back up. All right. So we already saw the difference in the interior just between the racing version. And the other version. Is there something? Oh, there's like a visual glitch right there. Let me back up again. What the heck is that? All right, well, let's see if we have cargo on this one. This is the exploration version. Sorry, there's a big <laughs> visual glitch happening here, those glares. So we'll keep pivoting here and, and take a look. So I'm anxious to see if there's cargo. You know me. I love bags. Yeah, so this does not have that. So it goes with the Mustang. The Mustang Alpha has the ability to carry cargo. So just know the base model as it stands now. What is this? Wait a second. Oh, that'd be like a scanner, right? I'm like, what kind of gun is this? Okay, okay. So the exploration model, as I understand, or at least the previous model, had the ability to do better scanning and had better range. So I would imagine that scanning array is what that thing is in the front. That's speculation, but that does make sense to me now. I'm like, that's no scatter gun. All right, let's see what the interior looks like. Any any bets? Any takers? Looks a lot like the base model. Okay. Well, we already saw the difference in the front. See if we can notice anything else. We got that little sink here. I can't wait to stick loot in here and put some tactical cylinders in the fridge. That is so key. See, we even have beverage glasses for such an activity. I like it. I can't wait to see what those loadouts or little improvements are going to be for the inside. And the fact that we can do it from the website too, that's tight, man. That's freaking tight. All right, so the base model so far, as it stands now in 3.5 PTU, is the only one that has the retractable cargo bay a very tiny cargo bay at the bottom of the ship. So I'd imagine you could still have something where you're carrying it in your hands and then you can place it inside or on the cargo bay and then pull it up. Whee! This one looks like it might. Oh, maybe not. That would be cool to see if you can add some of these fancier additions or, or um, loadouts like you do for the A or the P over here and still keep the cargo bay. I would imagine those extra components are housed under here would be my guess. We can try to take a look on the Moby Glass to maybe confirm or disprove that. It says, I got an episode. Dominion says, I have an episode of Voyager loaded, Kimmy. It says, come snuggle with me <laughs> while we watch it. Uh-oh. Voyager's good. I like that one a lot. Okay, so the interior is the same here as well. So we've only seen a difference between the racer interior and the other one. So you can pretty much consider this interior stock. Yes. <laughs> Kimmy says, I only snuggle with the magsters. Wow, that glare in my face. <laughs> Now that that's appropriate where my eye was sagging apparently when I'm being blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Alright, so I think the next set we're going to do here is the Reliance. So if you're watching this as a highlight video, we'll go ahead and switch over to...